Nam de Kano sues SSS, alleges illegal extraction of his blood samples. Welcome to the news and thank you for sitting in to listen. Nam de Kano urges the court to make an order directing the SSS and the AGF to immediately allow him to access to medical facility and the material for the practice of his religion. Wow. Anytime this issue comes up, or anytime I see this issue, my heart goes up because bandits, bandits, recently, information getting to us about 24 hours ago or maybe more, was that a certain FIRS officer in Luji, in Luji, that he, he was killed even after paying a 7 million naira ransom. That he was promoted while he was still in the custody of this bandit. And he was killed even after paying such money. You lose money, you lose somebody. These people that are doing this and committing this crime. Recently, this same 24 hours, under the same 24 hours, I'm telling you, nothing governors came out to say, oh, that the bandits are surrendering. That means they're improving. Are you listening to this? Just after they said that, the, 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 the information concerning this, this FIRS officer who was murdered, also came out and i'm asking if you place these two information side by side wouldn't you think that something is wrong with these people saying that they are making improvement people are being killed on a daily basis what am i saying per hour people are being slaughtered like goats people are being killed like animals and you come out and you say those people are not being killed those people are not being scolded at those people are given cold stone ice cream, fried rice and turkey and chicken and anything they need. And yet, what happens? Those who are freedom fighters, those who come out and did not sugarcoat their words, they become prisoners and enemies of the government. That is the height of the injustice in this country. That is the height of injustice and wickedness in this country. Somebody who has done nothing but raise his or her voice to others and say this thing you are doing it is not right that becomes a problem that becomes a problem now listen to the news in detail the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of biafra ipop namde kanu has sued the state security service sss over allegation of gross violation of his fundamental human rights Mr. Khan is being held by the SSS at its headquarters in Abuja after the Nigerian government repatriated him from, repatriated him from Kenya in June this year. An action is later termed abduction. He's standing trial on charges bordering on treasonable felony and terrorism before a federal court in Abuja. Maxwell Opera, one of Mr. Kano's lawyers, told journalists on Monday that a medical doctor engaged by the SSS had extracted Nandi Kano's blood samples over 21 times. In the new suit, Mr. Opera said despite the substantive order by the trial judge, Bin Sanyaku, compelling the spy agency to allow Mr. Kano to change his clothes and practice his Jewish faith, the SSS flagrantly ignored the orders. The Director General of the SSS, Yusuf Bichi, and the Attorney General of the Federation, Abuba Kamalami, were listed as respondents in the suit Max FHC ABJ CX 158521. Mr. Parawai briefing reporters on Monday recounted his last visit to the SSS detention facility, where his clients reportedly complained bitterly about the doctor extracting his blood whom he suspected to be a quack. Namde Kano said his demand for security agency to grant him access to his medical report record was repeatedly refused, Mr. Opera said. In an affidavit of urgency disposed to by Mr. Kano's younger brother, Emmanuel, the SSS is said to have subjected the IPOP leader to solitary confinement, which is a form of mental and physical torture. This action, he said, subjects the applicants Kano to inhuman and degrading treatment and in turn constitutes a violation of Section 341A 
Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The respondents, SSS and AGF, have deprived the applicant access to facility and materials to practice his faith and, on time, and ultimately prevented the applicant from praying and or practicing his faith. And the aforesaid constitutes a breach of applicant's right to practice his religion. The applicant is a Nigerian citizen who is entitled to the enjoyment of the fundamental rights enshrined in Chapter 4 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, as amended, and Article 5 and 8 of the African Charter on Human Rights and People. Human and People's Rights, Ratification and Enforcement, Act CAP NI Volume 1 Elephant. The respondents have deprived the applicant access to facility and material to practice his faith and ultimately prevented the applicant from praying or practicing his faith and the aforesaid constitute a breach of the applicant's right to practice his religion. The respondent prevented the applicant from having access to a medical practitioner and legal practitioner of, a source, of his choice. The respondent subjected the applicant to solitary confinement, which is a form of mental and physical torture, and as such subjects, the applicant to inhuman and degrading treatment and in turn constitute a violation of Section 34A Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended and Article 5 of the African Charter on Human and People's Rights Ratification and Enforcement. Act Cap A9, Volume F of Elephant. The applicant's right not subjected to inhuman and degrading treatment and torture and humiliation is enshrined in Section 341A Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended in Article 5 of the African Charter on Human and People's Rights, Ratification and Enforcement, Act CAP A9, Volume 1, Elephant. David David read in part. Relying on Order 2, Rule of the Fundamental Rights Enforcement Procedure, Rule 209-209, Mr. Kano Jr. says the law empowers any person who alleges that any of the fundamental right to which it is entitled to is being or has been or likely to be infringed upon to apply the courts for a redress. The respondents have no justification to have responded the applicants to indignity, humiliation, mental torture, and inhumane and degrading treatment. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for sending in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.